I'm not gonna talk about doubts and confusion. On an when I can see oh, with my shot. I've got two make up nation metal products limited, which is Nervin. And I played at Norwich for four years. I was the best reserve player Norwich City ever had. I was then shipped over to America and a season in America with Tampa Bay Rowdies. I come back and I went to Area Super Air, Super Air United, and then I finished up at uh, Stirling Albion as manager. And then I was lucky enough to get the post at Command FC as manager of Command. But my ambition there, as I say, was just to um, enjoy myself at Command, and I did enjoy myself. I met a lot of good people, and absolutely some fantastic people. You know, within the, the office, you know, Lee Jean was there. And, Freddie was there, and these are people that come out, fans will know, so I don't even need to mention their second names, they will know these people, because they were the heart and soul of the Kilmarnock Football Club, and I was lucky to be a part of, of their life for a, for a number of years, and I really thoroughly enjoyed every second we had with them. So I enjoyed Kilmarnock, but I didn't enjoy the, the football side of it, I've got to say. We'd won a game, we'd, we'd won a game quite comfortably, and still I couldn't rejoice, I couldn't smile, I'd be happy. Because I was always thinking of the manager in the other dugout, or I was always thinking of the next game. Even when we got promoted at Rugby Park when David McKinnon scored the goal against Cowden Beath, everybody went and celebrated. I did now, I went up the stairs and stood my wife and my, my kids and watched them celebrating. I just couldn't get that kind of elation everybody else got. So maybe I wasn't the right man to be a manager um, because I've got a lot of concern for the, what the other guys going through, and that can be tough. If you look at the club now, I think um, um, Bobby and certainly myself, um, we hoped something like that would happen. You know, Bobby, um, through his um, contacts, Commander's got an 18,000 seater stadium, which was all rebuilt by in, in my, my brother's era. But I just hope that the people who run it have got the, the sense to look after one another and, and don't, you know, do anything wrong to, to make someone else suffer because of whatever they think is right or wrong. Uh, come on, hopefully they'll just continue at Rugby Park and be there as long as they possibly can with the best resources they can possibly get. And I believe that should be the same for, for every club and team in town.